It's recording now. Okay. <laughs> Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, I'm Kat. Today I'm gonna take you on a vlog with me because today I'm getting an eyelash lift. So I have been doing eyelash extensions for the past three years. Um, every two to three weeks, never went without them for the past three years. Recently, I developed an allergic reaction to the glue. So unfortunately, I had to stop doing my extensions and I am so not used to it. Uh, my lashes naturally are very straight, but very stubborn. I can sit there when, with an eyelash curler for an hour and it wouldn't make a difference. Um, so yeah, we are going to the Beverly Hills location for the lash lift. And let's just take a look at my natural lashes here. You can just see that they are stick straight. So, I mean, they're not like super long, but they're still kind of recovering from eyelash extensions for the past three years. Um, so I'll just kind of take you through the process and show you a before and after. Hey guys, I just left my appointment and I'm pretty happy with the results. Um, one of my eyelashes, or one of my eyes, the lashes have always sucked on this side, so you're going to see it. Um, they're probably still recovering from the lash extensions that I did for so long. So I'll show you the difference right now. This is my left side. And that is what I wish both eyes looked like. And this is my left side. I mean, my right side, sorry. There's still a little bit of dye, um, but I'll clean it up. And then he told me that once everything is dry, the lashes should separate and look more full. So I'm hoping this one will look a little bit more normal. I realized it was going to be a little bit hard to blog the whole service because my eyes were closed. So I'm just going to kind of talk about it later as a whole, what he did, um, the questions I asked and like maintenance and things like that. All right. Hi guys. Welcome back. So we're just going to go over um, some follow up questions and uh, maintenance for the lash lift. It's been a week since I did it and um, I'll show you uh, what they look like right now. But uh, I wanted to go over some questions that I asked him during the service. So if any of you are interested in getting the service done, you kind of know what to expect. So the whole service was about an hour long. Um, he puts the chemical to perm your lashes, pretty much. It, that's what the chemical is doing and then he puts on a nourishing um lotion and then the tint you don't always have to do the tint and if i do go back i probably won't do it again because my hair is so dark naturally that i don't think it made much of a difference but if you have really light lashes that's something you might want to consider um if you don't want to have to put on mascara every day so after the service um again my lashes are super straight so it did make a difference um, but they kind of curled a little bit weird. The very tips kind of curl at the ends just like a little bit and it makes your lashes look a little bit spidery. <laughs> um, I'm not sure if this happens to everybody but that's what mine look like. And my right eye is still coming back from three years of lash extension so it's still a little bit patchy. Uh, so my concern was what are they going to look like after the six to eight weeks? So naturally your lashes are going to fall out and after a while you're going to start seeing straight lashes coming in because that's the way your natural lashes are going to grow in. And then you're going to have to go back and get the lash lift done over and over again to make all your lashes curled. I did notice that not all of my lashes curled. I'm not sure why. And I did ask before I went and got the service done if extremely stubborn straight lashes were a good candidate for the service. And he said that that was the best candidate for the service. I'm not sure if maybe my lashes were too short to be curled or maybe they were missed while he was curling them. And then, um, he said that, you know, they are going to separate after 
the initial service so your lashes like stick together when they first put the treatment on there and they look clumpy and they don't fan out you have to wait at least 24 hours to put any water or oil on your lashes after the service so my lashes looked really weird the first day um, I waited till the next morning to put on mascara so that I could remove it later that night and they have gotten better so I'll kind of show you what they look like now so this is the left eye which I'm a fan of the right eye it's getting better and I noticed that the patchiness isn't as bad but there's still little areas in my lashes that are super short so when I'm wearing mascara or not, it looks like there's just a big gap between my lashes. So the reason why I stopped doing lash extensions was because I had an allergic reaction to the glue. Luckily, I did not have a reaction to any of the chemicals used during the service. So that's one pro for me. Again, I'm not sure if I want to go back. I might give my lashes a longer break from this kind of stuff because they are still coming back from having lash extensions for so long. And that's it for my follow-up for this video so if you guys have any questions leave any comments below if you like this video don't forget to like and subscribe thanks for coming bye